Hello, my name is Ken Anderson. I'm the Managing Director at New Technology Research. We specialize in implementing Business Central and Navision for a whole range of industries such as manufacturing, distribution, service companies, and of course, real estate. We also provide data analytics services such as Power BI Report Building and Design. And this video will be an overview of our real estate broker or brokerage uh, Power BI dashboard. This is really meant to be an all-in-one comprehensive dashboard that gives a full overview of company metrics, agent and broker performance, marketing deep dive, and financials. So you can see here on the home page of the dashboard, we have a lot of information available and we really take uh, good use of the expand feature within Power BI to deep dive into any particular one of the components that we have on each of the pages. So on the left side, we have a quick stats area where you can see just the important stats, such as how many active deals we have right now, the total deal sizes across all our deals, the current year deal totals, and how much is the house actually going to net on all the active deals that have uh, closed or are set to close in the current month. Across the different pages that we have, you can see here we have company performance. We have a deep dive into active deals agent performance, marketing analysis, cash flow forecasting, expense overview, and company financials. So I'm just going to quickly go through each of the pages um, so that you can get a sense of what the dashboard is really meant to do. So here on the company performance, this is really all about seeing the total deal counts by each agent or broker and the actual deal totals for each one. And in this case, it's really nice to be able to uh, dig into any particular agent just by simply clicking on it and using uh, the dynamic filtering that Power BI provides. We can go, jump to the different pages using the page button in the bottom left, or we can actually use the tabs themselves on the dashboard to hop between each of the pages. So on the agent, uh, on the active deals page, we can filter by any one of our agents just to look at their active deals. You can see an overview of the different checklist items of all the tasks that need to be completed for each of the deals for each of those agents. And we can use the dynamic filtering to click on any of the deals to see what's really outstanding as far as those deals go. For agent performance, this is really meant to give a one place to dig into that particular agent's footprint. We have a map in the top right that gives you an idea of where this agent a broker in what territories are they performing especially well and you can see the total year deal count by the types of deals that they're doing if it's listings or sales or if they have any rentals that they're doing and you can actually dig into this by just utilizing the agent search to look at each individual agent or a group of agents together which is really nice as part of like a team analysis marketing analysis this digs into the financials so what it does here is that each deal is actually associated with the, the marketing activity that went into actually getting that deal in the first place. So we can look at our buyer and seller marketing analysis and basically click on any one of these to just get a sense of what are the trends that are happening uh, for that particular type of deal. So if we're clicking on the seller analysis, that will actually just filter the commissions and deal volume for that particular uh, type of marketing activity. And obviously all of these can be configured so the different marketing activities uh, that you have associated with your deals, they're all coming through uh, in Business Central. Clash flow forecasting is really meant to see when are the checks gonna come based on the deals and when they we're anticipating that those deals are gonna close. The expense page is really meant to give exactly that, an overview of all the expenses that are coming in as part of our deals. We can see the expenses by month and by the different types and all that is obviously configurable through Business Central or Envision itself. And the final page is just a quick, easy company financial. So this is a much more simplified view versus what would be a much more live implementation just because you could break out the revenue and cost of goods sold in a much more comprehensive way when you have real data. Um, in this case, this is demo data. But in a real implementation, we would have many different uh, GL accounts or whatever you're using to actually differentiate the different revenue uh, channels and costs.
And that was a quick overview of our real estate brokerage dashboard. If you have any questions or you want to use this dashboard uh, in your own brokerage, feel free to reach out to us. These, what you're seeing here on this page and in this dashboard is all completely configurable, but makes for a really nice starting point when creating a new dashboard rather than starting from scratch.